Hello, it's ShadeX, and in this video I'll be talking about the new Gorillaz album, Song Machine Season 1, Strange Time. This whole album was an interesting experiment from the band Gorillaz. Song Machine Season 1 was promoted as a web series of sorts, with a music video coming out at a somewhat monthly basis. I found this way of releasing songs interesting, as it was a drip feed approach. I wasn't 100% for it though, as I wanted to be surprised by by songs on this album. Still, I love all these music videos and initially I thought this album would be out after all the videos were released. However, Song Machine Strange Times came out on October 23rd, 2020. The album features all the tracks that got episodes so far, with four additional tracks that got no music videos at the moment on the standard edition. There are six more tracks on the deluxe version of the album. One thing I find interesting about this album is the order the songs are in. This is very important. I initially expected that the songs on the album would be organized in order of release. However, the album starts with Strange Times and ends with Momentary Bliss if you don't count the six tracks on the deluxe version. The order of songs is very important on an album, and the fact that the album version of Song Machine has them organized this way changes the whole experience in a good way. This video is somewhat of a review, but I won't get all analytical about the lyrics. I just want to share my thoughts on what I like about this album. Strange Times is a very strong opening track, and I am fine that it's at the beginning of the album. Strange Times is also the title track of Season 1, as it is the subtitle of the album. I really like this song as it has a melancholy and energetic feel to it. Strange Times is a great way to start the album. The organization of songs really surprised me. I won't go in depth about the songs that were released as singles as I already covered them, but I will say the way the songs were put in order really makes it feel like a different experience. I find the organization of the tracks a bit odd as the songs were labeled as episodes 1 through 7 on YouTube and in the Song Machine Spotify playlist. I am not bothered by that at all. Momentary Bliss is a strong closer for the standard edition of this album. It is a very energetic song from start to finish. Out of all the songs released prior to the album's release, I think that the band's collaboration with rapper Black and musician Elton John titled The Pink Phantom is my favorite. But overall, I really enjoyed all the Song Machine songs and videos that came out all throughout the year. But I know why everyone here clicked on this video, as you all want to hear my opinions on the new songs. So I'll go over them to close this video. The second track of this album is titled The Valley of the Pagans, and it features popular musician Beck. It is a very fun song. It starts out slow at the start, which is not a bad thing at all. However, towards the end, it gets really fast and energetic. This is a great gorilla song and another great collaboration with a well-known artist. Song Machine Season 1 has a lot of great well-known musicians involved, which is one thing that really makes this a great Gorillaz album. The third track is titled The Lost Chord and features musician Lee John. It is a decent R&B track. Track 5 is titled Chalk Tablet Towers and it features musician St. Vincent. It's a really upbeat song with serious subject matter as 2D and St. Vincent sing in unison about how they want to get drunk and stoned. It is a song about a breakup with a drug theme. Track 8 is titled Dead Butterflies and it features rapper Kano and musician Roxanne Arias who makes her big debut on this album. I say this as this is the only song she seems to be credited on for Spotify and Genius. It's a very enjoyable melancholy song about a breakup as 2D says that him and his ex are like dead butterflies. I really liked what Roxanne sang in the song and I like that she sang a line in Spanish. She wasn't in the song for long but I enjoyed her presence. Kano delivers a great rap verse as well. Now that I covered the songs that have yet to have videos, I'll now cover the deluxe tracks, which honestly interested me the most. Opium features hip hop, soul, and funk musical duo Earth Gang, and it is the longest track on the album. It's a very relaxing song. Following that track is Simplicity, which features Jonah's Police Woman. I think it's a fine song, but it's definitely my least favorite track on the album. After that, there's Severed Head, which features rapper Goldlink and the Unknown Mortal Orchestra. This song has an ominous techno feel to it. I really like this track. Following that is With Love to an Ex, which features Moonchild Sinelli. I was aware of this track because she let it slip that she did a song with Gorillaz long before Song Machine came out. It's an okay track. It just features Moonchild Sinelli in the vocals. I don't hate the track, but it's not fantastic or anything. 
Finally, there is the track MLS, which is the last song that hasn't been released prior. Final track on the album is How Far, which I already covered as it was released early after Tony Allen's passing. I was excited about MLS because I saw the song featured JPEG Mafia, who is a rapper I recently got into. While there are no 2D vocals, this is still a great song, and it is still a gorilla song. The song also features Chai, an all-female Japanese alternative rock band. What makes this song great is that it's a pairing one wouldn't expect. JPEG Mafia's usual music is very industrial and dark, but this song is very upbeat. Japanese rock mixed with rap isn't something I expected, which is what makes MLS a great track. Peggy does a great job rapping in the song and I enjoyed the repeated line Super Gorilla that Chai sings. Overall, Song Machine is great. I hope you all liked hearing my thoughts on the organization of the tracks and my opinions on all the new songs on the album. Song Machine Season 1 is very enjoyable and is definitely worth a listen. Anyway, I'll cover the music videos as they come out. I'll do a video on the Almanac once I get it. It's a shame that it got delayed. Anyway, this has been Shade X, and I hope you all feel nothing but good vibes.